The frightened child who sheltered in my manse died on the Dothraki Sea and was reborn in blood and fire. Hey guys, how's it going? Master of Lore back at it again, and today we're diving back into the world of Westeros. And instead of talking about a character or anything too specific, we're going to be talking about a location, that being the Dothraki Sea in Essos, uh, mainly where obviously we see a lot of the Dothraki storyline taking place, and we're seeing Daenerys heading there in Winds of Winter, and it'll be really exciting to see what happens with her character, of course, in the novels. But yeah, so we're going to jump right into it. So the Dothraki Sea is a vast inland region of the continent of Essos, located east of the Free Cities and north of Slaver's Bay, and west of the Bone Mountains. Its landscape of steppes and plains is home to the nomadic Dothraki equestrian people, who constantly battled each other and raided surrounding lands. The region is also known as the Haunted Lands and the Great Desolation, after the dozens of ruins of cities destroyed and nations conquered by the Dothraki. Before the Century of Blood, it was referred to as the Grasslands, and is considered by Maester Yendo as the birthplace of civilization, where the first true towns arose beside the banks of the Sarn and the Myriad, vassal streams. Though the histories of those days are lost, for these kingdoms of the grass rose and fell before the invention of writing, only legends and tales survive including those of the realm of the Fisher Queens beside the inland Silver Sea, the savage hairy men, the lost city of Liber, the woodwalkers in the forests on the shores of the Sivering Sea, and to the east the kingdom of the centaurs. Some maesters believe the first men originated on the grasslands before beginning the migration that took them to the Arm of Dorne. The Andals may too have arisen in the fertile fields south of the Silver Sea. What is known, however, is that these lands were the home of the peoples such as the Saimiri, the Zogora, the Gips, the Cathy, and the Tegaes Fen. So something really interesting to uh, bring up here real quick is the Woodwalkers, which I mentioned real brief, that live amongst the Shivering Sea. Now, in the novel, I really assume the Woodwalkers in Essos are actually children of the forest that are in the east. Um, and we see lots of hints of this as well, because it's known that there are children-heighted creatures that have cat-like eyes, and the children of forest are described as having cat-like eyes. So I think there's a correlation there. The only inhabited city in the Dothraki Sea is Ves Dothrak, which lies at the heart of the sea and is home and heart of the Dothraki people and culture. Save for Ves Dothrak and some Valyrian roads in the west, there are no other roads in the Dothraki Sea. There are hundreds of types of grass that grow on the plains, often growing thick and taller than a man's head from afar. Some rivers run through the lands, though they are often shallow. Overall, sand is more prevalent than water, though. The grass is inhabited by packs of wild dog, herds of free-ranging horses, and the rare Harakar. Located in the inland of Essos, east of the Free Cities, the Dothraki Sea begins in the west at the Forest of Kohar. To the north it overlaps the ruined Kingdom of Sarnor, the Kingdom of Omer, and the forested Kingdom of Ifgriviron. The Dothraki Sea extends eastward to the Bone Mountains and the Krasaj Zazka, and as far southeast as the desert wasteland called the Red Waste. To the south, the Dothraki Sea is bounded by the Painted Mountains, Slaver's Bay, and Skashaddan. South of the river is Lahazar, which is often raided by the Dothraki. The Dothraki Sea is so immense it can support more than two dozen Kalasars, each riding its own circuit and taking what is needed from the land. Okay, so wrapping this one up, just a few quick notes before I finish this off. Of course, going back to the Woodwalkers, which I think are children of the forest. Also, the fact that there is a kingdom of centaurs, um, but that's something that was an uh, old civilization that obviously died off before... Uh, people were able to actually write down their histories and stuff. Just really cool stuff that's kind of scattered through the novels that we don't really know about. Um, and were never brought up in the show, of course, because they were too too small to really touch upon. I just try to give you guys as much information as possible about the story and some of the smaller locations that we don't really see or even get to discuss, really. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. And uh, take care and thanks for joining.